Hi everybody, uh, this is Pablo and today we're going to make the first video um, trying to show how to use PLC Sim, which is the simulator software of Siemens uh, with the factory I.O. Okay, um, I'm going to make this video because it's not too easy to to use the PLC Sim for somebody that doesn't really have too much experience using um, first Siemens PLCs and then also factory audio. So um, maybe just for some of them, they're gonna have some problems just to even like set up the connection between both softwares. Um, this video, I hope it is gonna help. Uh, the first thing you have to go is to factoryio.com, okay, which is the website where they have all the, where you can download the program and you can communicate with them and everything. Um, if you wanna use the PLC simulator, okay, the Siemens PLC sim and factory IO, you're gonna have to use a special template that uh, the company of factory um, made for us, okay? So you're gonna have to go into, uh, let me see, I think it was in learns here and then go into maybe manual. Okay, I'm trying to find, let me see, in IO drivers, okay, look for PLC simulator of S7, okay, this is the one I was looking for, okay, uh, here is what it says, TIA portal templates projects, okay, you must use TIA portal template project, okay, so you're gonna have to download that, okay, for the version 13 or 14, I do have only the 13. And for the 1200 or the 1500, I do have the 1200, so I'm gonna use that one. You download that. You're gonna open. And when you're gonna open, you're gonna open that template. You're gonna move it to the same folder okay where you have all your um folders for uh siemens for tia portal siemens okay which are these ones okay so that is the one that i open okay the factory io and it's gonna have that template okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy that template and you're gonna paste it here in the same automation folder that you have your the rest of your folders. And you're gonna change the name to whatever you want. I'm gonna start with tutorial one because this is gonna be for my first video that I'm gonna make the first tutorial. And here I'm gonna change the name to the same thing. Okay, tutorial one. Try to be consistent, by the way. And then what I'm gonna do? Sorry, I'm gonna close the software I had. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open the relic here, double clicking, and it's gonna open right away the template. Okay, I have all the other projects. Okay, and I have the new one that is gonna open, which is gonna be tutorial one. And waiting a little bit. Perfect. Okay, so you can open that, and the first thing you're gonna find out is that it has some elements already created which is this function mhg plc okay this is the function that is going to communicate with the factory io software okay so you have to maintain that don't delete the function okay that is already created the mhj and what we're going to do is start with the main you're going to probably have to change the language if you want to use um ladder okay and to do that here you click right and then you change to LAN, okay? And what you're gonna do is do not delete that network one, okay? Because this is all the communication. You're gonna start with net network two as it is network one, okay? So you're gonna start creating your coding like normal, okay? And then that is gonna help, is gonna make uh, this project to communicate with Factory I, okay? And we will show that in the first solution of the first um, tutorial that we're gonna make, okay? Thank you.